what are the attributes of the most powerful brands. Brands are really about bringing a rational and emotional connection because the best brands have a personal engagement. And the best brands and the brands that are really long-term are those brands that, in fact, have what I call a higher purpose, that it's more than just selling a product, uh, that you're changing people's lives, you're impacting people's lives, uh, you're allowing people to have fun. And when you have a brand that combines that rational value proposition with an emotional connection, it's really powerful. What people forget, because the card has been so successful, is the company started off as a freight forwarding company. And what's critical is the reinvention of the company over 163 years. One was that commitment to service was really critical. The point I make about our Traveler's Check business uh, is that it had no income requirement. Uh, Anyone could get it. It was used all over the world. That helped build the brand, allowing us to offer a card. Right now, part of what I do, particularly with the partnerships that we have with a number of digital companies, I say the form factor is irrelevant. The reality is think about the card as a platform to deliver service. Uh, so what's important is that you've got to understand to create a brand, you need a core mission. And for us, uh, we want to be the most respected service brand. Uh, trust of the brand is very critical. Service is very critical. Security is very critical. Um, and then what you've got to do is constantly innovate. Uh, because if you want to be a leading brand, you've got to innovate in the marketplace all the time. Uh, and what I would also emphasize with respect to service is what I found is, and I say this publicly, and um, certainly I'm very competitive, I want to win, uh, so I don't foolishly give out secrets, but the reality is that most companies don't want to make a commitment to service. One is because it's a long-term investment, two is they don't have the right metrics in place to know they're getting the returns. We, in fact, know what service interactions will generate levels of spending. Uh, we know what will drive retention and loyalty of our customers. And one of the things that we did in our service, despite the fact that uh, for years we had great service, around 10 years ago, we said, we're going to revamp it. We're going to reinvent the way we do service. We think people are too robotic. We think it, we're too rule-focused. And we want to empower the people who are serving our customers, whether that's online or offline. Uh, and we literally changed fundamental aspects uh, of our service. And that leads to a very important point, which I believe in strongly is you always want to create the company that will put yourself out of business. Uh, that's the way you constantly need to think. And if you believe that you're successful and you get arrogant about that success, that success becomes a rut. Mm -hmm.